The Houdini Shape Generator comes with an extra setup that distributes random shapes following the design theory of using big, medium and small objects in unison to create more appealing designs. A link to a video by Cynix Design outlining the theory is in the description. Here, the objects are stretched in the Z direction to create a simple spaceship generator. However, by changing the setup slightly, this could have a variety of different applications, such as creating architectural pieces or more organic shapes by adding subdivision. The setup comes packaged as a subnetwork, inside which is a main control node containing all the parameters to change the node network for the shapes. In the main parameters section, the master object seed parameter drives the random element in the creation of all objects and so can therefore drive the creation of different shapes. If you want to keep a collection of objects the same, below this master control you can control the seeds that generate the big, medium and small objects separately. We can also change the scattering for each collection of objects as well by changing the seed values that dictate the scattering for each group. The scattering is applied hierarchically where the medium shapes are scattered around the main object first and then the smaller objects are scattered across both the big and medium objects after that. The number of big objects is fixed to just one to follow the design theory. You can change the number of medium and small objects that are created, however, but try to keep the numbers quite low as you don't need many to create an interesting looking design. The scale settings for each object group are set up to follow the design theory as well, but you can change them if you wish. As mentioned at the start of the video, I have stretched the object proportions a little in the Z direction and squashed the objects a little in the Y direction as well to create a spaceship-like look, but you can change this in the proportion section. The number of face extrusions in each object within a collection can be controlled under the extrusion section, where higher values will create more complex objects. Again, keeping some design theory in mind, do remember to keep things simple. On the other tabs, there are controls for mirroring the overall shape, and you can optionally enable and control the colouring, and also apply beveling and subdivision effects. Feel free to add other nodes in and around the network to help create more interesting designs. That's it for this setup for the shape generator. Do let me know if you find it useful, and thank you for listening.